Hello, in this video I'm hopefully going to show you how to change or replace the hard disk in this Acer Aspire V Nitro laptop which has uh, the model numbers MS2391 and possibly another model number of VN7-591G 592Y and a manufacturing date of early 2015. And that's what the machine looks like. It's got a weird little thing that says black edition on the uh, touchpad there. So turn it upside down. First thing is unscrew every single screw you can see on the underside here, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 screws. And if you've seen my videos before, you'll know that even if all the screws are the... Yeah, thank you, cat. Uh, even if all the screws are the same length, I still like putting them down in the same order, or basically a map of how they came out of the computer. That one doesn't want to come out. Can't get that one out either, so just have to deal with that later. That's all of the screws unscrewed and removed. Now, I'm going to open up the machine and I'm going to start along the front with a very thin blade. Uh, let's see if I can stop that from changing brightness and focus on roughly there. Uh, yeah, very thin blade. So, this is a craft knife type thing um, from Amazon in the UK and it's called an RGM 103 and I'm just going to go down the front edge very gently levering out and then once you've done that go along the uh, edges going up towards the screen Then let's turn that over. And do the other edge. So that's now three edges done. I'm now going to close the lid again. So with the lid closed, now need to undo along the back here
So now I'm at the far end. So once you've unclipped all of that, put it back upright. Oop, there's the final screw that didn't come out earlier. Put it back upright and open up the lid. And now, gently, because the keyboard is attached, lift up the palm rest. And there are three connections onto the motherboard which need unplugging. So I'm going to see if I can show you these on the video, but because of the layout it's going to be fairly difficult to do this, I think. But uh, let's see if I can focus onto that. There's one here, one there, and one slightly further down. So you've got the touchpad, the keyboard, and probably the keyboard backlight. I'll see if I can show you these uh, different types of connectors on this board. So this is the uh, the other way around because I've got a screen in the way behind where the camera is, so I have to do it this way. So we've got this one, the first one, which is touchpad connector. Hopefully you can see there. That's when it's locked and the ribbon's in there, you lift that up and then you can very gently just pull the ribbon out. The keyboard one has the ribbon in there and you very gently move that side out and move that side out and then you can pull that connector out and this one here is another hinge. You just hinge up that connector and the reverse for putting them back in, put the connector in Hinge that down and it holds it in place. And the same for all these, you just do the reverse. So the touchpad one the has a white uh, bar running along the side closest to me, which you hinge upwards. So it hinges like uh, that. And now the touchpad wire has come undone. The keyboard will be different. The keyboard has a bar that runs along the back that will need pushing towards the display. So uh, i pushed one side with my nail, I'm going to use a screwdriver to push that other side. It doesn't come off, so it just needs to move probably uh, one millimetre or something. And then this keyboard should just gently pull out. And then we've got the final one, which is the keyboard backlight which in this one has a black bar which is at the screen side of the machine and that hinges like that and then again very gently, you don't need to do really put any force on it that keyboard backlight lead will come out so there we go so we're now into the machine we have the hard disk here uh, it looks like to get the hard disk out it's probably sensible to unplug one end of this wire that's bridging. So again, hinge that one up. I can now gently pull that lead out of the way. And the hard disk, as far as I can tell, looks like it is just friction fit into there. So I can just lever that out and then be careful over this side with the serial ATA connector just unplug that before you try and get the drive too far away from the laptop and there we go that's the hard disk removed so the next step is to put a replacement hard disk or an SSD into there so here's the replacement drive I'm going to use a crucial 120 gigabyte SSD. I'm not going to bother with a uh, the case for this because it doesn't. Well, hard disks are much more susceptible to vibrations. SSDs are not. So I'm just going to plug that directly in and just press fit that into place and reconnect this ribbon cable. Now comes the tricky part. Unplugging cables like that while they're underneath a palm rest are, is much easier than trying to plug them back in. 
So, whilst trying to get this into camera shot, which is probably going to be quite difficult, um, let's try and plug these back in. So that lays in, make sure it's uh, straight against the edge of the connector. That one's going to be easier to look at because there's more length on it. So I'm just going to check that, that's definitely in straight. And these other ones are going to be a real pain. Especially while trying to film this as well. So let's see how difficult this is, so let's make sure that clip is uh, Clips are pushed forward and ready to take the lead. I'm somehow managing to push the clips so that it then can't take the lead. It amazes me that they make them like this and they must hate it in the and the manufacturing it. How do you do this every day hundreds of times if not more per day? Right, so that's the keyboard one and now the touchpad one. See this circuit board isn't even screwed in. Terrible design. Alright, right. Now that's that done. Now because I can't move this much, I'm gonna have to put this peripheral board here back in place without really being able to see what I'm doing. Right, I think that's in place. Put the screen back. Line up the palm rest. And clip it down all the way around. Close the lid and go to the underside and clip it up at the back. And finally put all the screws back in. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the notification switched on for new videos, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.
And there we go, that's how you replace the hard disk in this Acer laptop. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the notifications switched on for new videos, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.